Hey guys, I hope you all are doing great. This is Malika and welcome back to another video. So today in this video, I will be talking about how to create your ICES profile and how to submit your application under ICES portal for ECA equivalency. So let's get started with our video. So today in this video, I'll be sharing my screen and showing you how can you make your profile, what are the list of documents that's required and how to make the payment. And if you're one of those, who are applying for ICES for your ECA consider subscribing if you want to watch this video till the end okay guys so this is my screen and we will go to google.com and here we will type ICES because today we are creating an evaluation we are doing evaluation through international credential evaluation services which is by BC British Columbia after searching for ICES we will click on ICES link and the website name is www.bcit.ca well I have mentioned the link of this website in the description below so if you want to access this and if you want to do your evaluation through ICES apart from WES which everybody prefers so you can definitely continue watching this video and do your evaluation through ICES so this is ICES website. They have few details related to the working hours and important notices. We will skip all these and go to for immigration ECA. This is because we require application for immigration only. We will click on this link and after that there are multiple informations. There are lots of information that's mentioned in the website like about the immigration, what are the requirements, what are the fees, apply online, multiple TNCs and country specific information. So we'll check the requirements first. So these are the list of multiple requirements, the documents requirements for the applications. So there are multiple documents that's required. So you can just read out all of them and do your evaluation then. Just read out the requirement because the requirements depends upon degree to degree. For example, they require color copy of current government issued photo identification which indicates your legal name and date of birth. So they require passport or national identification card or driver's license, color copy of front and back of each final award which is degree and certificate, color copy of front and back of each academic record such as transcript, marks sheets, diplomas. So make sure all these copies are always in color not in a black and white so whenever you scan these documents make sure they are a color copy only if you have your documents in some other language which is French or in some native language so you can have it translated and upload documents accordingly so make sure you procure all these documents as necessary let's check the service fees so for standard service the fees are 200 Canadian dollar for education credentials which includes two original evaluation report copies secure electronic access by IRCC and standard regular mail which is non trackable if you want additional copies there is $20 there is 20 Canadian dollar which you need to pay for additional copies one copy is sufficient for the process and as you all know ECA is valid for five years and it may be renewed only after five years and the fee for renewal is only 50 Canadian dollar there are some courier charges if it is domestic courier within Canada then it is 26 Canadian dollar and if it is for any courier outside Canada which is US or international courier so it is 75 Canadian dollars there are certain restrictions to courier delivery so just go ahead and read all these instructions as necessary and of course there's no refund well guys let me tell you one thing very important in this procedure there is no refund at any stage so if you're expecting any refund from anybody no it's not going to happen they have already taken a lot of pain and they have already spent a lot of time for you guys now let's check the other factor which is apply online and then there are multiple terms and conditions what can be done is you can just check the checklist that's necessary there is a size requirement per file which is 5 MB so if you have all the color copies of all the documents which is scanned I have mentioned a lot of ways of scanning your documents if scanner if the professional scanner is not available with you you can use uh, adopt scan application it is uh, easily available on play store and 
you can just scan your documents but make sure you do color copies only there are certain country specific information as well so do check that out if your country is not listed on this list then ICES will not access your documents so it's better you check this thing out before proceeding further do control F command F on your keyboard and type your country name suppose your country name is Nigeria so it is listed let me check another country Australia listed Japan listed India listed so all these countries are listed but still there are countries which are not listed so just check your the name of the country and see if it is listed or not so let's go now and create the application so we'll go to apply online they have certain requirements that you do not create multiple accounts it will create a lot of problems not only for you but also for them now let's talk about the processing time and application status so as you all know ICES takes a lot of time to process not much but recently due to COVID all the processing times have changed and for the basic report the evaluation takes about four weeks from the date all the documents are received and for the comprehensive report it takes about seven weeks now let's talk about immigration so it takes about 30 weeks for the evaluation to happen well uh, the standard the service standard timeline is usually 20 weeks but due to covid these things have changed and it may be up and down depending upon the documents requirement and for eca renewal if your uh, ECA document has passed five years of time it has expired so you need to renew it and the renewal will take about two to three weeks of time if you need a duplication report it will take about seven to ten business days so now let's go to of course you can track your application by logging into your account there's another thing which you need to consider that is the portal is only open from Monday to Friday and it is not open on Saturdays and Sundays so there's a timeline mentioned from Saturday 12 a.m. PST Pacific Standard Time to Monday 12 a.m. PST it is not available so I know you guys are free usually during weekends but you'll have to take out some time during your weekdays and make an application to ICES because they won't be accepting any applications during your weekend so let's go to apply online we will click on apply online and we will go to create your ICES ID because we are creating a new application right now here we will have to type our email address re-enter our email address our first name and legal last name make sure you write all these details as per your passport at least your first name and your last name so i'll put my email address i'll another and put my email address again my legal first name my legal last name so that's how you guys also do it and make sure you just match all the spelling and everything as per your passport because your passport is the major document and it is an important document in this process so we'll press continue now they have sent an email to verify the account please follow the instructions to verify your email address to begin the application process so i will go to my mail this is my email someone using this email address has created an account with ics bcit if you have made this request please click here to finish the registration process if you need to contact ICS office, please send an email to this email ID. Do not reply to this email provided in the account creation email. For additional information, please visit the website, etc. etc. So we'll click on this here link and this will automatically verify our email address. So let's press continue button and let's create a password. So your password must contain multiple cases. So it should have one uppercase, one lowercase, one number and one and must include one of these special characters. So let's create a password. So I've created a password over here. Make sure you remember these passwords. Just write it down somewhere. Just write down your email ID as well, which you used for creating the account because it will be helpful for you to track your application. When one month has passed, we tend to forget all these details and it creates a huge problem the password has also been created now let's go and sign in so we have our sign in page wherein we will be typing our email id which we used for registration 
and then our password of course this is secret so do not reveal this password to everybody just keep it to yourself okay there are certain information which you need to read collect information provided by you through registration and it will be used by ICS to provide you with the credential evaluation report will use a personal information to access evaluate the education you earned outside of Canada against the accepted credential aid standards it will only be used for purpose directly related to the program and so and so it's it just gives you an information regarding to the documents you are sending and how it will be used don't worry it's okay so this is my dashboard if you need any help you can click on this link but i don't think while watching this video you will require any help so you can continue watching the video and understand what needs to be done next so like i said in this video that each degree is charged if you want to do your evaluation through ICES so make sure you send only your highest degree not all your degrees ICES evaluation report request general credential evaluation request an ECA for immigration please complete your profile you need to add all your profile details before you can start and request a report so let's complete our profile first so since this is like I'm creating this profile only for showing you how to create ICES profile so uh, I won't be submitting this application I won't be making any kind of payments in this uh, video so this is only for the purpose of showing you so let's get started read our first question which is history check are you a previous client of ICES or do you hold a BCIT student number well no because I consider that this is my first time application to ICES and I am doing a ICES evaluation for my educational documents so this is my first time and I have never created an, any account any time before or I have not requested any evaluation earlier from ICES so let's proceed on continue this was my st first step this is uh, my name if you have any middle name in your passport then do mention I do not have any middle name in my passport so I have not mentioned that let's proceed on continue this is my legal last name and the one with the asterisk marks are mandatory so make sure you fill these and if you have any middle name in your passport then you do write here which includes maybe your father's name so if it is there in your passport make sure you write it over here if it is not there in your passport just leave it blank let's proceed click the day to change the date what is the date of birth so here i'll be writing my date of birth you should write your date of birth first july well you can wish me birthday thank you <laughs> let's click on continue what is your gender what is the legal sex so are you female male or you prefer not to answer I'm a female so I checked female if you're a male go ahead and if you prefer not to answer you are free to do that let's proceed now we have to put our address because they will be sending our evaluation report at this address only so make sure you write this address as per your passport I'm just typing ABC I'll write Mumbai XYZ choose country choose the country you are from my roots lie from India so I will select India what is your zip code what is your postal code well this is not my post code this is just for the sake of showing you so let's proceed what is my country of citizenship open your passport and check your nationality I am born in India so I will select India what is your status in Canada so are you a Canadian citizen are you on an official visa are you having no status or are you a permanent resident or are you on a study permit or a refugee status or are you on a visitor status what is it right now we are considering that there is no status in Canada since you do not hold any of these so we will select no status in Canada since we are applying from outside Canada that's why what is the country of birth I was born in India only so I will select India select your country of birth and proceed now we'll move to step 5 what is our phone number so you have to put your area code first and then you have to put your phone number so this is my phone number well this is not my phone number you cannot contact me if you want to get in touch with me so just email me on this email ID 
and I'll be happy to assist you. You'll be guided through few steps after you email me on this email ID and then you'll get to talk to me regarding your profile and if you want me to handle your profile, you, if you want me to file your case on your behalf, then feel free to message. I'll be happy to help. So let's proceed. This is step six. Consent to release personal information. So under the laws of British Columbia, you have privacy rights. That means ICS cannot release any information about your profile to anyone other than yourself, which is amazing. These measures have been implemented by government of British Columbia for your own protection, etc, etc. So read this if you want to. And I authorize ICS to release my personal information. Who can see your personal information? So write your name here only. I will write my name. And there's no relationship since you are handling the profile yourself. Like following after following this video. So it's okay. Just write your name and press continue. So that was all these steps related to your BCIT ICES profile. Just make a note of this email ID. This is ICES email ID. ICES info at the red bcit.ca in case your university needs ICES email ID. So just check all the information and click on done. If there's any changes required here, so just click on edit and make necessary changes. Done. So now my BCIT client number is created successfully which is a0139274 well this is a number i have received but i won't be using this number for my evaluation purpose because my evaluation is already done i am doing this video just to show you how to do your evaluation and you should also follow the steps like i'm showing you for your convenience so here after completing my basic information and basic profile all these three informations are available what is the exact requirement we have we need to request an ECA for immigration through express entry or PR since we are doing for immigration purpose for express entry and PR we'll be clicking on this link and we'll be proceeding ahead well the standard fees like I mentioned earlier it is 200 Canadian dollar which is regular press continue add your credentials so list the complete credentials you are paying ISIS to access you are responsible for arranging for documents for all credentials you pay for. You will have to either arrange for official documents to arrive to ICS office by post or email from the appropriate authority or submit originals. Depending upon the organization requirements, please review the documents requirement closely. Here's the link of requirements page. So this is the required documents page and I've already discussed about the required documents earlier. So you can check this out later when I suppose you have already checked it so guys let me tell you one thing before we get started with a credential evaluation why are we doing evaluation through ICES number one thing there are certain universities and degrees and certain colleges which are not recognized by WES or other organization so that is why we do an evaluation through other agency to get the equivalency so that we do not lose out on point so suppose you have a bachelor's degree from ABC University and you check that your university is not recognized by WES so you want your degree to be recognized so that you can gain additional points on the basis of the study that you have completed so that is why we do additional evaluation or we go for another organization apart from WES to do the ECA process I hope you have understood what I just discussed if you haven't just let me know in the comment section below or you can email me on this email id like mentioned over here and i'll be happy to assist you guys what is your evaluation credential name so here i will i will just type masters of commerce what was the name of the awarding institution example abc university so we will type because I am from Mumbai University, so I will write University of Mumbai. What was the city? So it's Mumbai. What was the province, state, region? It's Maharashtra. What is country? Since my roots are from India, so that's the reason I have selected all as per my profile. Just make sure you put all this information as per your profile and do not copy my information in your profile. So what is your name as displayed on the credential? So my name is the same as displayed on the credential. I do not have any middle name in any of my documents. If you have any, just write that. When did you earn the credential? 
so you started this suppose in 2014 and you finished this in 2016 so suppose I'm giving my masters of commerce for evaluation and I have completed that from University of Mumbai awarding institution because they need the name of university and uh, I completed masters of commerce in two from 2014 to 2016 and just write the month suppose your course start from June and it ends by May so just do that do you complete the credential and receive the final award yes would you like to add another credential to be evaluated if you need another credential here to be evaluated you'll be charged another 200 Canadian dollar so like I said earlier why are we doing evaluation through ISIS we are doing only for the highest degree not for all the degrees if you have ample of money you are free to do and evaluate all your degrees and pay 200 Canadian dollar for each degree you want to evaluate so suppose you have four degrees so it'll be 200 plus 200 plus 200 plus 200 will be too much so if you want to add another credential just press on another credential and put all these informations again I don't want to add another credential because I'm making this video to tell you guys to evaluate only your highest degree for ISIS well in case ICES require additional documents or information then you will have to provide your other degrees as well they will mention the documents they require but as of now just do one credential the highest one press continue attach supporting documents documents required for your application so as per my application these are the required documents like color photocopy of government issued identification like my date of birth so uh, I think Number one is passport, colored photocopies of front and back of my degree and diploma certificate. So my transcripts, mark sheets, photocopies of certified translations if any and it should be less than 5 MB size in PDF format only. So let's go to document one. So we'll see ID first. Okay. So we'll upload our ID here. So upload your passport over here. Here transcripts are required. So upload your transcript over here make sure it is in pdf format only if you already have your transcript then only upload it there are certain colleges that provide transcripts from the time you have graduated from that college so if you have that just upload that if you have already applied for evaluation earlier through other agency and you already have a transcript scanned in your computer so you can upload and if you do not have any transcript it is completely fine do not upload anything in this segment then your certificates here all your degree certificates will be required so suppose there's a document that I'm uploading so here my file got uploaded right now I had access to only my resume so I uploaded my resume but you're not supposed to upload your resume over here you're supposed to upload your certificate if you have multiple certificate just click on certificate again choose file and upload and that's how you upload all your documents certificate includes your degree certificates here so here the requirement was degree certificates diploma certificates and etc okay so upload the certificate over here which is a degree certificate if you have the transcript upload the transcript over here for ID I suggest upload passport only and for translations if you have any upload that and then proceed ahead just don't forget to click on the upload your documents and you can see all the uploaded documents over here and then only proceed with your profile so once you have all your documents uploaded over here please do not refer to the documents I have uploaded because I have uploaded just for the sake of reference do not upload your resume do not upload all these documents upload your certificates only your transcripts your id and your document translations if any now then press continue choose your delivery options your first copy of the report will be sent here at your address please mention your communication address only where you will be receiving your ices evaluation report you can choose a delivery method regular mail is fine if you want the tracking details and everything you can of course choose and of course I will choose this method so that I can track my application and I'll be charged additional 75 Canadian dollar if I'm doing my evaluation from outside Canada and we are hoping that all of you are doing your evaluation outside Canada send a second copy to an alternate address 
do you need a second copy it's not necessary so let's proceed ahead how many additional copies of the evaluation report would you like to order additional copies so do not click one do nothing do not click anything because these details are only for order additional copies and this is optional you're not supposed to select anything just press continue unless and until you require additional copies then do all these process otherwise it is not necessary now press continue there are certain terms and conditions which you must read i suggest it is important like number one is there are no refunds provided will be valid for five years it is calculated from the day the required documents are supplied and not from the day you apply the documents or you submit the documents reports will not be released until all fees are paid and lots more so just read the entire tnc and then proceed click on i understand so yes we have come to our last and final step well no one final step is pending which is payment which i won't be doing right now you will have to complete the payment process because you are doing your eca process you are doing your eca evaluation through ices and you need to complete the payment process since i was making this video for the sake of showing you how to create your ices profile that is the reason i won't be making the payment so here's the fee summary for each evaluation it will be 200 cat for the courier it is 75 so the total fees are 275 canadian dollar let's press on continue now i will be redirected to a payment system so the total payment for the order is 275 you will now leave the ics report system to process your payment let's click and you need to have your credit card ready of course you need to make the payments through credit card only not through any other card well guys this is where lots of people get stuck at the payment gateway so many of you are not able to complete this because of lots of reasons number one is there is a pop-up block in your chrome go to your chrome and just remove all the pop-ups so that this payment gateway will open and if you're still facing any kind of issue related to ICES payment well let me know I will help you out with how to unblock that pop-up so this was a secure credit card payment so now um, since you are completing your process this is the last step you have to put all your you have to put your credit card number expiry date cvv your address it's not required you've already mentioned your address click on i'm not a robot and complete the payment i won't be doing that because i'm not making a payment right now but you should do it because you are doing your eca and that's how you can complete your ECA process through ICES and if you do not have credit card ready right now you can always come back and make the payment by clicking on complete your application because the status is application incomplete and continue from here and continue you have to click on I understand I understand lot of times and proceed so that's how you do it and that's how your ECA process with ICES will complete and it will take about 20 to 30 weeks of time for your ECA process to complete. You can always check the status of your application over here. So every 10 days just come back and do this and after making the payment through ICES you have to go to your respective university and apply for the transcript you have to go to your respective colleges apply for a transcript then take those transcripts go to your university get the transcripts from the university if they are doing a paper-based process you'll have to collect the transcripts from your university and send those transcript from university postal code to ICES and if your university is following an online process then you have to go to the online portal of your university and make the necessary application so that's it guys that i wanted to share with you about how to create your ices profile and how to proceed with your application and you can always check the status of your application over here and once the entire eca process is done all you have to do is you have to continuously check the status of your application and know whether any other documents are required or not and if there are any other documents that's 
required over here contact your university and get it done so thank you guys for watching i hope to see you very soon hit like and you can send me super thanks if you like this video and it helped you complete your ECA process. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. If you want me to make a video related to any specific topic, you can let me know in the comment section below and that'll be my next video. Thank you guys. Bye bye. So I hope guys you have learned how to apply for ECA from ICES. If you really like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel more such amazing videos are coming up if you want me to make a separate video about a different organization you can let me know in the comment section below and i'll consider your request and that topic will come in my next video so thank you guys for watching see you guys bye bye